All right, people. I'm gonna teach you a little something real quick. Now this is my water temperature gauge and it is just idling. It's been sitting here idling. I got off the highway and I let it sit and idle. Okay. What I'm trying to show you here is this is about winter fronts and what's going on with an engine. Now, this is idling range is 150, okay? 150. Uh, normal operating range where the thermostat will kick in is about 195, 185, 195 over here. Some are even like 210 or 215. If I had it my way as a mechanic and knowing about gas engines, okay? Because every time I get, you know, a gas engine, you know, I will get a lower thermostat than what it calls for. But if I had my way, I would set the thermostat over here at about 175 right here in the middle. The thermostat would let out and it'd run there all the time. But they run them about 195. This is your hot range over here, but this is still warm over even to this mark where it's like uh, 225. You don't want your truck running at 225 all the time. And if a mechanic engineered an 18-wheeler, just the front grill alone would be wider than the truck because it needs as much air as you can get. But they have narrowed it down and narrowed it down. They did the same with cars for looks and this and that, okay? And they're already running at 195. So when you come up a mountain, you way over into, you know, this range sometimes, uh, most times it'll, you know, stay around 215, maybe 220. But this is still normal operating range around this curve from 200 to 225, but it's not good, people. It's not good. It's not good for your head, not good for, uh, you know, your thermostat. It's not good for a lot of stuff, and it will boil the water out of your antifreeze, too. Even though antifreeze keeps water from boiling uh, and keeps it from freezing, it has new cooling properties, period. The water has the cooling properties. And as you lose water, because it's 50-50 mix, as you lose water, it's no good. Now, I'm gonna show you what I got going on right here. This is my winter front. Still brand new, still in the plastic. See, brand new in the plastic. Why? Because I never needed it. Okay, but I'm gonna show you why I need it now. Because there's only one reason that you would need a winter front and that's when you're encountering rain, okay? And you're running through the nasty stuff up north and you're trying to keep your radiator clean. If you're running through rain, or if you are, uh, I'm gonna shut this off so it'll be quiet enough. Running through rain or sleet, okay? And let's uh, check out here what I got going on and I'll, I'll show you. This right here, if you can see it all, there's ice, icicles, you know, that you can knock off here. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. You know, um, it's just gonna be difficult to show. See, but look, there's ice in here in this grill and you can tap it. You can tap this, your screen. This is a, a, a bug screen. But you could tap this to knock some of this stuff off, you know, if you don't have a winter screen either way. But it's not so much frozen because a lot of this is that nasty stuff they put on the road, okay? But for argument's sake, if you put one of these on, it will stop that stuff from getting in here and even uh, getting into your screen here, possibly... Uh, eating away at the paint you know or anything else because it is corrosive uh, salt is the road salt they have so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my winter front and put it on this thing for the first time okay because right now there's a reason so I'll cut this open grab my knife and then uh, I'll show you how it goes take you with me on my journey no big deal most of them have an opening the older ones were different but they all just snap on so these snaps need to be cleaned out 
these little snaps here can you see that you know gotta make sure they're clean clean enough so i'm gonna go through those with a pocket knife here and then uh not ice just nasty and i don't want it in my snaps you know everybody's different i'm a little picky but the heat that is generated behind the winter front will keep any ice from building up also so it creates a heat wall but it also stops water from getting through you know so it's just enough like this is some nasty stuff if you can see it it's just some nasty stuff it's not exactly iced up because it is that stuff that they put out but uh you know that was a little bit of ice not much and then as you get down to here it's more slush because it's more of that road stuff so i'm just taking a little bit off with the back end of my pocket knife all right let's get down to it um wipe my knife off there so basically it's just these snaps these these little snaps Let's see it's hard to get on camera that snap that snap snaps all the way around and then you you want to take it off now uh in the daytime when there's not nastiness bad weather you know um i mean if there's slush coming up and it's below freezing that's fine but you will overheat an engine in a truck messing around putting a winter front on while at the same time it's uh, warmer weather and all that and this right here is going to cause me trouble all because i didn't open it before i got this video thing here wow okay some sideways mess that's all label goes on the inside none to it look snap one side come over here snap the other once you got the top snap the rest of it is a snap you know what i'm saying that one see normally i would sit these out in the heat of the day and smooth it out and all that but i'm showing the worst case scenario i do stuff in the cold about the cold i'm not the guy that chains up a truck you know in miami to teach you how to chain up a truck when i chain up a truck it's going to need to and it's going to be 30 degrees or less and it's going to be messed up so That one went easy, that one went easy. Let's so get this one, that bottom one will be easier. Okay, that one's in. This is the last one. Last one's gonna be hard, might not even go. Because of the way this thing is made, it might be off. Anything's possible. There we go. All right, so, one-handed and filming, winter front installed. Any questions? <laughs> all right so and i took it out of the bag and everything one-handed all that so you could do this but take it off when you're not getting rain and ice a nasty from the road blowing up there once it gets over freezing take that mess off because you need as much air going into that radiator as you can get okay um even more than this big open area if you see the same engine on a boat they don't have a grill because it's for looks and aerodynamics so if you could if you was building a perfect ride like they change over to four core radiators and chevys from the regular radiators to give a bigger radiator for a bigger engine well you would have two of these radiators one side by side lower thermostat that's all i got for y'all you could use these but please stop using them in the summertime you know stop doing that y'all stay safe i'll just name this winter front that's it and that's all if you don't believe me it's cold outside i've been idling still got powder on top
still got snow on the ground. Y'all stay safe. I'm out. Peace.